Hello. Hello. Hello, hi. Welcome, welcome to Monday Morsels in Bare Bones Kitchen. Cheers. I am your culinary coach, Harmony. It is nice to see all of you lovely people on this uh, lovely Monday. The 34th of January, as I've been calling it, or the 33rd of January, I don't know. It feels like we didn't have a February, and um, I'm about done with this weather. Like, so, that's that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. How are you all feeling? Are you feeling amazing? I sure hope so. I hope that this is... Okay. It's been, it's been a little wonky lately. I've had to, like, shift it in there. It's probably because it's like, clean me, put your new pans in now. And I'm like, no, that's for a future harmony to worry about. I am not about that life. All right, so tonight, you guys, we're going to take it back. We're going to take it back to your childhood. We are going to rock out um, with, <laughs> and it's kind of funny. Okay, let me back up for a minute, just for a minute. I know I squirrel off a lot, and it's, it's fine. It'll be fine. Um, so we are going to have a special guest next Monday, and this person is very special to me, actually very special to me. Let me move that flamingo in a little bit closer. It's my flamingo friend, Miranda, and she has decided she wants to be my hype girl. Um, she is not much of a cook. Hello, Miranda. It's so, it's been so long since we've chatted. We've literally been chatting for like the last hour and a half. Um, <laughs> Um, so Miranda is going to come join us in Bare Bones Kitchen next week, and I'm very excited about it. So I was like, okay, well, do you want to make something special, or do you want me to just make something special, or is there something you want to learn? She was like, yes, I would like to bedazzle your audience with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'm like, we can make that happen. So tonight I'm going to bedazzle you with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich inspired by Miranda, because... That's how we roll sometimes. Good old peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And that is definitely an inside joke that I am not going to uh, further comment on. So right now I'm going to rock out with some coconut oil if I can get this shit out of here in my pan. And I like to use coconut oil when I'm doing like a French toast or something like that because it just gives that additional flavor. It gives that nice coconutty if I can get the shit out of here, apparently my knife is not working very well. All right. I want a lot. I want a lot of oil in there. You're, she's bringing jazz hands, y'all. Bringing jazz hands. I love it. Because we're going to kind of end up deep frying a little bit. And since I am using this, okay, this is not your mama's PB&J, okay? Not your mama's PB&J. I'm going to actually turn that down a little bit because I'm not quite ready for it. I have some delicious brioche bread. And this bread is a little bit thicker. So that's why I'm adding a lot more oil. If you're using a regular slice of bread to do this, which is totally acceptable, you guys. You do not have to buy fancy brioche bread. Um, I just mm, happen to love this, and it's delicious. Hello, Wheeler. You're not missing tonight. I love it that you... That's okay that you missed Saturday. Miss Gail almost missed it too. And then I called her. Um, so we're going to rock out with this uh, PB&J. And you know Zane. Zane, my boy. He's a basic bitch. He loves him some grape. So I had asked him if he wanted grape. Or I bought raspberry because I discovered that my strawberry, I don't, I don't eat jelly enough. So my strawberry was like, yeah, no, we're not doing this anymore. I was like, it's not even that old. I was like, maybe. Maybe it is. Maybe a comedy show. That's awesome. Are you taking your friend Adam? I think I read that somewhere on your page that you have a friend that's going with you. And not that friend. You need to get away from that girl, my friend. She's no good for you. She's no good for you. Oh, man, I'm going to struggle all the way around, aren't I? Fine, fine. This is why I don't do grape jelly, you guys, because it just kind of blobs. So, yeah, it's it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite to do. Okay, so 
Gonna make my little sandwich. Let me move all of my goods out of the way here because my kitchen space is not very large. And I'm gonna make myself a sandwich as well because that's gonna go really well with my blue moon. Mm -hmm. Yes, grilled PB&J. Panko encrusted PB&J. And then I picked two weird slices. It's okay though. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let me move that grape out of the way. I'm just going to get my the sandwiches done real quick. Make them just like a regular old PB&J, just how you would do it. If you're going to rock out with some Nutella, do that. Um, chunky, creamy, doesn't matter to me. Obviously, it's in your kitchen, so you're going to do what you need to do with what you got. All right. Let's see, let's see if I can remember. And Miranda says, come on, Wheeler, take Harmony to the comedy show. He lives literally on the other side of the country, Miranda. <laughs> literally. I would totally go, though. That would be way fun. I love me a good comedy show. Thinking about blocking her. Well, you know, it just can be flaky, too. That's all. Sometimes shit just gets too real, okay? And that goes for boys and girls. Like, sometimes shit just gets too real. And you're like, oh. But I don't, yeah, I don't think you should have her in your life anymore. That's just my my uh, other side of the country opinion. <laughs> all right, my sandwich is going to be a little wonky. I'm just throwing it out there. Win tickets all the time from the radio station. Sounds like somebody I used to know. All right, guys, so I have my one little pan here and a big-ass bowl because I used to have another small pan like this, and I loaned it to somebody with uh, some food in it and never got it back. So, yay me. Yay me. So I'm using a, a bowl instead. So in our one container, and it doesn't matter what kind of container you have, we're going to rock out with an egg. And then I'm going to use a little bit of ginger. Because I love ginger. I don't know. And I'm only doing one egg because it's just Zane and I. And I'm going to do a little bit of cinnamon. Just like I would do my French toast. And then I'm going to do a little bit of nutmeg. Now remember that nutmeg is going to be a lot stronger. So is the ginger. Um, and then I also am going to do some panko over here in the bowl. And I wasn't sure if I actually had panko, so I bought another jug, and apparently it's a good thing, because I think the other one I have in my cupboard is actually Italian seasoning, so yeah, that wouldn't work for this. I'm not that kind of sweet and savory girl. So you can find these in, like, the aisle where, where did I find these sons of bitches? Typically in the baking aisle, like where you find your chocolate chips and stuff like that. All right, now we're going to jazz this up as well. So we're going to do the same three spices. We're going to go in with the my baking trifecta, which is the, the ginger, the nutmeg. Come on, nutmeg and the cinnamon. And it's not a bad idea to get the layers in there, okay? You guys are going to have to be patient with me because I can't see that far. I don't have my glasses on, so... And then we're just going to give this a quick stir. So if you're doing something that's savory, you're going to want to mix your mix your stuff in your wash and in your breadcrumbs or your flour, whatever you're going to do. All right, so we just got all of those little spices all mixed up in there. And then I'm going to swap spots. We're going to give this a little zhuzh. I actually made French toast for breakfast on Saturday because Zane woke up and he was like, Mom, will you make some French toast? I was like, yeah, I'll make some French toast because we have brioche, see? And he was all about the French toast. The boy rarely wakes up in time for breakfast, but when he does, he's like, I know what I want. And then I'm just going to give it a little splash of milk. Doesn't have to be too much. I only have one egg in there. Again, you can adjust this to whatever you need. I 
correct you guys in the comments. You gotta tell me what's what's your your PB and J combo. Are you crunchy? Are you creamy? Are you grape, raspberry, strawberry, fruit mix, orange marmalade? Tell me what's your what's your dream PB and J. All right. All right. I'm gonna turn this bad boy back up to a medium high heat here. I'm actually going to get a pair of gloves because sometimes it gets goopy and I just don't feel like being goopy. I just, I don't feel like it. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to. Strawberry, can't do crunchy. Oh, found a bug one time. That's not a fun experience. A Monte Cristo. I have made a Monte Cristo actually on the show. Um, Zane actually surprised me the other night and he's had a couple of ham and cheese sandwiches with, of course, Doritos, Cool Ranch Doritos. He was like, Mom, this combination's so good. And I was like, yeah, I know. Like, that's one of my favorite combinations. Only he's like the dry kid. So, you know, he, he makes a sandwich and he doesn't have anything on it. It's literally just meat and cheese. And, and, and then Doritos on top of that. And I'm like, boy, boy, you got to get with the program. All right, so we have our sandwich, our peanut butter and jelly sandwich. This one is Zane's. It's got grape in it. And we're gonna rock out with a little bit of this egg wash. And then we're gonna take it straight into this panko that is uh, flavored, it's flavored. And I think I've done this also, this exact setup with stuffed French toast. We did that way back in the day. By the way, you guys, YouTube is updated. Just so you all know, and you're all aware. Uh, this morning I was up at 3.30, so how am I still so bright and shiny right now? Who knows? You guys, honestly, who knows? Could be the couple of little energy sticks I had today. And then we're going to do my wonky little raspberry one because my I picked the bread slices that were not matching, so it's a little off, which is kind of fitting, let's be honest. Let's be honest. All right. And we're just going in for that nice golden crispy crispiness. So yeah, I was up at 3.30 this morning and I um, was absolutely hands down set to upload my YouTube videos. And I'll tell you, I got them all uploaded, right? And then I was like, where in the hell are they at? Where did they, where did they go? Because they're, they're not on my channel. Like, where did they go? Yeah, well, apparently, somewhere along the lines of recharging my uh, lovely laptop, which I really need to upgrade, but I'm really resistant to because I only use it to upload YouTube videos. I'm telling you. Um, I realized I was on my personal page, so nobody's going to see them because... My personal page is private. I literally made my personal page way back in the day when Jasmine was going to college so I could send her videos of her brothers. There's one, exactly one video on there of Zane reading. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Doritos on your PB&J. Oh, that's an interesting combo. I, I love Doritos on my ham and cheese. I don't think I've ever tried it on PB&J. But I did used to do Cheerios on my PB&J. Something about a crunch in a sandwich that just fills my soul. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Honey, peanut butter, and whatever crazy jelly you have could be cranberry sage, raspberry thyme, and strawberry jalapeno. Shocker! There's a jalapeno jelly involved in your fridge. Who'd have thunk? Who'd have thunk? <laughs> Little vanilla. Oh, yeah, usually I do do some vanilla. That is correct. Yeah, the ginger men will give it kind of that fall feeling. I don't know. Sometimes it, when it is fall, I'll throw a little bit of cloves in there too. So it's like pumpkin pie spice. I don't know. It fills, it fills the kids' hearts and souls. So that's what I try to do. That's my little trick. Have wasted. Have time wasters. Yeah, no, no time wasters. That's no good. Absolutely. I'm going way back. Sorry, guys. Na, 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 na. All right, 
creamy. Boop -a -doo. Now it's like repeating all of them. How weird. Okay. All right. That's that's where we're at. All right. Let me see if I can maybe get some tongs because I don't have any of those. None of those laying around. Trying to do the end here. Get it a little crispy as well. Oh, beautiful. Look at that crust. Look at that, you guys. Look at how pretty. How pretty is that? And if you've never done a grilled PB&J, even without the panko, you guys, you've got to try it. Because it's, it's really delicious. Honestly. See, this is what I was trying to do more. Trying to do more. Get all them sides. Texas toast would be another good one for this. I know Safeway has a really good um, maple Texas toast that I usually will make French toast out of. That stuff's delicious. The grape jelly's going sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. And that's it, you guys, that's it. It's like your childhood, all wrapped up in one ooey, gooey, toasted, delicious mess. And then I bought fruit to go with it, because why not, right? I mean, he's probably going to eat chips too, but whatever, whatever. He just does what he wants anyway, so that's where we're at, and that's what I have for you. So make sure you come and join me on Wednesday for regular BBK. Not really sure what I'm going to make yet. Big surprise. And we do have Suck It Up Saturday this weekend. And then a special guest on Monday. So I'm super excited about all of that. Must try the one at Hash. The best. Like 1990s. Good to know. A few people like to go there. Not crazy about that restaurant. I don't know where Hash is. Cars. Cars in Lakewood is good. I don't know what the hell you guys are talking about because I'm catching up still. I'm catching up. All right. Okay, you guys, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. You are free to move about the country. Oh, I don't want to say that because I might get in trouble for, like, jumping in on somebody's tagline. Um, we'll see you again on Wednesday. Thanks for showing up. Y'all keep showing up, and so do I. Have a lovely evening.